Hello, I am the Gaming Lycanthrope, and this is Transistor. Where we left off, we were heading on to the stage. Let's head on to the stage. And this is a very nice looking stage. stage back there, it was like... Everyone loved you. Everyone except for them. <sighs> We're finally going to figure out how this actually all got started. was performing here when you speak, last night. I hear silence. In fact, I'm just gonna stay quiet because the music is really pretty. Defiance. I can hear, oh, I can hear. Think I'll go where it suits me. Moving now to the country. So she was attacked when she was after she gave a show and her boyfriend got stuck in the transistor and she had her voice stolen. And this terminal actually is important. I'm not going to tell you why it's important right now and I recommend pausing and reading it like I've said in the last video. Like I'm not going to read them out loud, but this is an important terminal. I'd recommend stopping to read that one because it's going to come back into play later. Music that plays during this fight is fucking amazing. So he's probably gonna stay quiet so you can hear. Uh, about the soundtrack is that it gets distorted and technoized as the fight goes on. Ah, lost John. That is not a good function to lose. Thank you. 
sad. Like, can't leave it like this. Bye, Sybil. Sorry. Her trace. Hello again, Sybil. Your camarada friends. I want you to tell us where they are. Do you understand? Sybil's trace. We got our lead. We're going downtown. The process will be waiting for us. All right. Poor Sybil. And she like it. With any luck. This game doesn't ever directly explain everything, but she has a really depressing. Yeah, it's it's. Sybil Rise, life of the party. She was bad news from the first. Yeah, like, I'll show you, like, her file stuff, and you can read it, and you'll be able to figure it out just by reading her files, what exactly happened. It's really freaking depressing. <laughs> Gorgeous transition. Camerata. Sybil was their eyes and ears. Got close to you. To us. We were hunting people. Don't know for what. But. I bet I know who does. feeling he's gonna let us know. Close as the river's gonna take us. Got us pretty far. Chance to rest your feet too. And your arms. It was nice. Okay. Road to high rise should be right around the corner. Alright. And oh god, these things. These, are these things, they're not that bad yet. Get him, girl. But these guys get freaking annoying, and I really like Sybil's function. Especially the passive version. As you'll see later once we unlock passive slots. I just love I I love how this game has a designated hum button 
Like, it really fits Red's character, too, because she's a singer who's lost her voice, and all she can really do is hum along. And it's, it's kind of sad, but it's also kind of beautiful, you know? You know, it's a little sparse, but this isn't that bad. It's no cloud bank, though. Alright. Let's try, try the door test. number one. Sand. Water. Nothing. Get ready. Got it. Can't even take us on the wrong turf. Thought there'd be more of them. Now I want to know what's in door number two. I do too, but we'll come back here later. <sighs> I love how, like, I just, Hell, I what's just. This? Yay, ball. Fun. Hmm. Let's head back to Cloud Bank. We better go. Everything's like we left it. Was hoping it'd be more like before. Alright, well, I am going to end this episode here. It's been an interesting one. And this is the Gaming Like Canthrop, and I will see you in the next one.